de, de, de ahí estar mero complicada la señora. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Aleli, por Dios bendito, yo creí que no ibas a venir, santo Dios. Hi class, how are you today? Con la teacher te venías. Yes, veníamos juntas, ¿verdad? We work in a rush. De celebrar, celebration. Exactly, okay. Mother's Day celebration, right? Let me ask right. you. Right. What did you do yesterday? How was your celebration? Did you have a great time with your family? Yes or no? It's done in my family. Okay. So did you have a breakfast, lunch, or dinner together? Dinner. Dinner, very good. Yes. And the rest of the class? Let me know. What did you have yesterday? What did you eat? Chicken, soup, or what did you have? Beans. I go. Beans? Apartment. Meat. I am uh, sub um, okay. uh, chicken <laughs> in chicken. my house. Okay, great. Well, only chicken only, soup. Only okay. my... And that's it. Very good. So let's start with the class right now. Listen, remember cameras on. I need to see your cameras on so we can start with this class. And we are going to check the attendance list right now. Let me look for the attendance list. What day is it today? Who can tell me the date? 11 May. I remember to practice saying dates. How do we say the date? My 11th. Okay, Wednesday. First, we say Wednesday. And then Wednesday, eleventh, eleventh. No, Wednesday, May. Ah, Wednesday, May, eleventh. May, eleventh. May, May, eleventh. Twenty twenty-two, right? Twenty twenty-two. So May eleventh. Aquí estamos. Bien, class. Let me start with Aleli Concepción. Present teacher. Ana Stephanie. Present. Cesar Alexander. Present teacher. Elvis Aníbal. I'm here. Fernando Arturo. I'm here. Great. Gerson Vladimir. Present. Great. Gladys Elizabeth. Hmm. Do we have Gladys in the class? Do you see her in the class? All right. It is Elena. Hear me. Very good. Irma Raquel. Okay. Jessica Marielo. Josué Neftalí. Present. Great. Kimberly Janet. Marina del Carmen. Present. Nelson Rolando. I'm here, teacher. Okay, give me a second. Nurian Karina. Pablo Reyes. Presente. Rebeca Eunice. Present. Rosemary Beatriz. Sonia Guadalupe. Hi, present. Great. Walter Alexander. Present. Wilson Alejandro. Eh, Jessica Marilu. Present teacher. Zaira Jamilet. Present. 
and that's it. Bien, class. Let's start with the class right now. Please, cameras on, cameras on, please. Para que podamos empezar, I need to see your cameras on. And please, let me see, let me check the chat. Alguien ha escrito que no va a ingresar. Gladys, is Gladys already here? Gladys is expressing that she cannot access. Let me check the chat. Maria Lucila, I didn't mention it. Let me see Maria Lucila. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry, Maria Lucila. Ya le ubiqué la asistencia. Okay, gracias por decirme. Lo siento, me disculpo. Gracias. Bien, clase. No, ya sabe, aquí estamos. Class, let me see. Ah, okay. I have Irma Raquel right now. Very good job. Do you remember what was the topic from Monday? What were we practicing on Monday? What section? What was the name of the topic? Or what we're discussing about? Who can tell me? Before we start with a new topic, what were we talking about on Monday? Yes, no? Um, places and the verb get, buy, and pay. Ah, very good. We were practicing expressions like get, buy, and pay. Pay. And, okay, very good pay. job. Mm -hmm. Class. Siempre hacemos un repaso antes de la clase para hacer conexión from one topic to the other. Exactly. We were talking about places in this case and things. Places and things. This is the vocabulary. Look. And we were discussing what can you get in a supermarket? Or I was mentioning, for example, I want to get some oranges and apples. And you were giving me some recommendations. You can get oranges and apples at a supermarket. We supermarket. were trying to give those examples. I was asking you, class, I need to buy a new cell phone. And you were giving me so, some ideas, right? Teacher, you can get a cell phone at and you were mentioning the name uh, of the place. Okay. So, so that was the exercise. Muy bien. Ese fue el ejercicio que tuvimos. But now we are going to continue talking about places. You know, we are going to continue talking about places vocabulary. But in this case, we will include prepositions of place. So we'll take a look at the objective. By the end of this class, you will learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán preposiciones de lugar para dar direcciones. Esa es nuestra meta de ahora, ¿ok? Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un entorno de la vida real. So, we need to listen to the vocabulary. I guess this is vocabulary that you have heard before. So, this is just time to listen. So, then we can practice, okay? Here we go. Let's listen. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. 
My son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. Okay. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. Okay. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and Second Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus's gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. post office? Where is Second Avenue bookstore? Where is Dam's drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, maybe it was a little bit long, you know, long presentation of vocabulary, but this is going to be very useful. So don't worry, I'm going to show you the same information in a different way, so you can take a look at the vocabulary and we can practice. Let me ask you, what were we talking about? We were talking about prepositions of places and I'm sure that you can still remember some prepositions of places, right? If I ask you, can you mention the prepositions of places that we watched in the video? ¿Se acuerdan? Las que acabamos de ver en el video. There were 
uh, let me check four different prepositions of words. Which ones do you remember? Between. Between. On the corner of. On the corner of. Across from. Across from and. Next to. Next to. Very good um, job. So. No los escucho muy mezclados. Veamos. Let me show you the picture. Let's analyze the preposition. Okay, we have the preposition on, on the corner um, of, across corner of, from, next to, from. and between. Okay, my bad. I said there were four. Dije que eran cuatro, but no. We have five different expressions or five different yeah. prepositions of places on. Okay, there is a place on, está sobre, on, on the corner, on the corner, no? En la esquina, across from. This expression is used uh, mostly when you have to cross on a street. As es literal, ¿verdad? Al cruzar de, across from, most of the time we are going to refer to when a place is in front of another place and we need to cross the street, go across, okay? So that is the expression about next to. This is when we have a place that is close to the other place and they are almost together, next to, between, this is a preposition that we are going to use when we have a place and then we have two other places and we have this place in the middle. Tenemos en medio, between two places, okay? Between two places, no de más lugares. Cuando decimos between, we are referring to two places. Cuando decimos between, nos referimos a dos lugares. Si hay más edificios, decimos among, ¿ok? Pero esta es otra expresión, among, en medio de más lugares. Between solo son dos lugares. Great, so let's go back. Let me show you here. We're going to be using a map. I guess this is a map of a city. Look at this one, let me make it bigger. And what places can you identify? ¿Qué lugares pueden identificar? Let's see, if you're curious, what places do you identify? Make sure. Let me see. Coffee shop. Coffee okay. shop. Let's start. Empecemos por este bloque. In this block, the first block, what is this place name? Market Street. El market o el parking. No, no. Ah, it's a parking lot. That's a parking lot. Very good. Let's see. Uh -huh. And we also have in this block this one. What is it? Gas station. Gas station. And what is the name of the gas station? In gas. Mar gas. Second gas. Avenue. Gas, gas station. Avenue. Gas. Okay. Gas station. Gas station. Okay, let's go okay. to the second block. Vámonos a otro block. What is this? What do you see here? What is this? The park. The park. 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 Maybe this park doesn't have a name, right? This is shut up. It's just a park. And we can find this place. What is this place about? What is the name of the place? A movie theater. It's a movie, movie theater. Theaters. What is the name of the movie theater? Love, 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 love movie theater. Very good. And then look at this block. We have these Harrow department store. Harrow department store. Oh, look at this one department store. We have a department store here. And then we have a bank. What is the name of City Bank? City Bank. And we have a restaurant. What is the name Rest of the restaurant? Restaurant. Maria's Restaurant. I guess it's 
manas or manas no manas oh, manas okay manas i'm going to send you the picture don't worry i'm going to share this picture with you then we have a hospital right now doctor doctor we also have the u.s US post post office. Office. Post office. office very good what else do we have in this block? In este bloque solo tenemos un edificio. We only have a building. The second avenue bookstore. 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 Okay, oh. very good. Bookstore. Look at this David place. Bookstore. We have Davis. Davis Drugstore. Davis Drugstore. And we have a supermarket. P and J supermarket. P and J supermarket. P and J supermarket. And the last place that we are going to identify oh. here is Al's Coffee Shop. Al's Coffee Shop. Shop. And Shop. next to Al's Coffee Shop, we have Shoes. 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 That is the name of the store. Shoes Store. That's it. Shoes. Very good job. So if you notice, we need to use the expressions para mm -hmm. completar este ejercicio. Necesitamos las expresiones. ¿Cuáles eran las cinco que mencionamos ahorita? Tell me the prepositions. Be between, oh, between on, on the corner, on, across, across, the corner, on, the corner of, across, across from, from between, next to, between, next to on between, the corner, the corner of. No. Mm, another one. Teacher, uh, the corner of dijo, disculpe. On, on the corner on of. On the corner of. Mm -hmm. Cross corner front. of, muy bien. Across from. Across from. Across from. I'm just waiting for you, okay? I'm just missing mm -hmm. two more. Next to. On. Oh, next to. Next to. Between. 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 On. Um, and between, very good. No, between we already have them. Ahí la tenemos between. Mm -hmm. We are missing one. On, only on. 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 No, on. No, behind on. Each other. Uh, yes, no, of no, course. We no, can no, have no, behind. Behind. Uh -huh. And some others, claro. But in this class, we are just going to use these five expressions, okay? So lo vamos a utilizar estas cinco right sí. now, okay? Between, right. on the corner of. Across from, next to, and on. And if you notice, we have five sentences that we need to complete using preposition. This is the first example or the first exercise that we are going to do. Okay? I'm going to send you this information right now to WhatsApp. We are going to get together in groups so you can develop these ones, okay? Pueden ustedes desarrollar los mismos ejercicios. Questions about this one? Pregunta, chicos, questions. Yes, no, or is this exercise clear? Is it clear what we are going to do right now? Yes or no? ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Ah, but yes. before, but before. Antes de eso, let me show you something. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Vamos a borrar eso. We have also the name of the streets and avenues. In streets, for example, I can see the name of two streets. Miren, Market mm -hmm. Street and Main Street. And we Main also street. have some avenues. I can see, ah no, I already have this one. Tengo otra calle, miren, Park Street. The name of three streets. And I also have the name of the avenues. <laughs> Second Avenue. And there's Avenue. Third Avenue. Okay. So what is the difference between streets 
en avenues. ¿Cómo las distinguimos, clase? Las avenidas de las calles. De norte a sur van las avenidas. Uh -huh. Y las calles son las principales. Exacto. Por eso le llamamos main. Main. Si main. se fijan, aquí dice esa, esa expresión main, que es principal. Calle principal, main street. Okay? Market street. And so, eso también aplica para nuestro país, para dar direcciones también aquí. Okay? Muy similar eh, la estructura de los bloques que tenemos, blocks. Avenues and streets, okay? So this is extra information. Let's go. I'm going to send this information so you can work with your classmates right now. Here we go. Please, cameras on all the time. If not, you're going to stay here with the teacher. No pueden trabajar en grupos si no tienen cámaras encendidas. Here we go. Questions, class. Pregunta. No, teacher. Teacher, te, tengo una. Please. Eh, solamente esto está fuera de lo que estamos viendo. Eh, okay, en el don't mapa. worry. Don't worry. Cuando hay, un, cuando hay un redondel, ¿cómo se dice redondel? Ok. Ahorita le digo. Solo déjeme enviar esto. Redondel. Great. Muy buena pregunta. Ok. Okay, go and check what's up, please. Solo me indican si le llegó. Did you get the picture? I got it. No? I get it. You see? No. 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 Nothing. Nothing. Okay, let me send it again. How about now? No, 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 come on. Yes. Yes, you did. Got it. Yes. Yes. Got, got it. it. Got it. Okay, so let me make it. I get it. I get it. Excellent. Here we go. Ya vamos a responder lo de Redondel y otros lugares. Se lo voy a mostrar con un mapa, okay? Don't worry. Here we go. Go class. Time to work. Use. You're going to have five minutes. I guess five minutes, it's enough to complete this exercise. Here we go. You can join your room. Very good job. Great. Okay, I'm going to send you to room number seven. Thank you for letting me know, don't worry. Walter to room number seven, okay. Okay, go. Very good. And Rebecca, I'm just missing Rebecca. Es como que tengas. Um, Enfrente de. Hi, teacher. Hi. The movie theater is across from park and theaters. I mean, uh, it's. Mm, it, um, it's across from the park 
maybe. The gas station. And you, Jessica, Marilu. Hola. Uh, number, number three. Permitime. The gas station. Permitime, solo me cargan los mensajes ahorita. Estoy abriendo WhatsApp desde la compu para poder ver la imagen que la teacher envió. Ok. Irma. Gas, gas station, no sería. Next. Gas station. Teacher, tenemos una duda con la segunda. Dice, okay. the movie theater is next to a park and thirst. Entonces, en la, en la siguiente sección es, it is, está, eh, sería al frente o al cruzar la tercera. The number park. three, number three. No, la That's two. Number two, the movie theater is. Next to, oh. sería primero. No, in this case, let me no, see. No, 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 yes, yes, the yes. movie there. Ya, ya lo vi. Ajá. Movie theater is. Next to. Ah, but wait, ya me fijé. Si se fijan, la expresión que está dando es de las calles y avenidas. Park sí. and third. So. Ok. Cuando estamos hablando de calles y avenidas, la expresión es on. 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 Ah, Miren, okay. el ejemplo. Miren el ejemplo acá. On. On. The street. Y aquí le dice okay. park and third. Así se llama la calle y la avenida. Park, okay. street and third avenue. So the correct. Entonces sería on. On. Exactly. Entonces a la siguiente parte sería it is uh, the front. Uh, no, I cross the front. The park. Sería in front or across. ¿Qué te estamos utilizando ahorita? Oh, sí, porque sería cruzar, across, creo. Yes, el, 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 ajá. Across. Across the front, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm, exacto. Ok. Excelente. Continue. La siguiente, Wilson. En la tercera. The gas station is. The, the gas station did you finish oh no do you hear me did you finish? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, I already mm -hmm. said that she can listen to me. Ah, okay, let me see. No sé okay. si es que soy yo, pero yo no, no le... No puedo escucharle bien a ninguno de los dos. Es oh, so it's your internet connection, I guess. Okay, okay, I'm done. You're done. Okay, excellent, Walter. So, creo que le está fallando su internet ahí, okay? So, so that. So, let's go back right now. Vamos ya a la sala principal. Let's go back, okay? Okay. Okay, let me see. Did you have problems, girls? Did you have problems to join your groups? Or are you having problems with your internet connection? No, my problem era con el audio. Oh, really? What happened? Sí, mis compañeros no me escuchaban, entonces tuve que volverme a conectar de otro dispositivo. Ah, okay, okay. I'm, I'm ready. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready.
And Nuria and Karina. Okay, very good. Okay, so Nuria, don't worry. Ahorita pongo la asistencia, Nuria, don't worry. Class, let's see. We're going to check this exercise right now. I guess, yes, this was easy, but not for some of you. So let's go and check the exercise. You just need to be careful. Take a look at the places and try to say the expressions using prepositions. For example, take a look at the first example that we have in number one. And let me tell you this. When we are going to express that a place is on a street or on an avenue, we are going to use this preposition, on. Si nos está mencionando street or avenue, sabemos que utilizamos on. No podemos decir in, no, on. On Main Street, on Market Street, on Second Avenue, on Third Avenue, on Park Street, okay? Bien. Now, let me see, let's complete the first sentence. Let me ask. Okay, or everybody, todos vamos a participar. Number one, the coffee shop is on Main Street, is. Next to. Next to. Next, store. next to. Next to, for sure. Next to the show store. Next, okay, that's right, next to. Across next to the show store. Next to, across, what do you think? Oh, no, 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 next to. Yes. No, but that's okay. Si ustedes me dicen, no teacher, it's not next to, it's across, that's okay. We are going to analyze. So let's see, where is it? Where is the coffee? Is correct, next, is correct um, across from? I don't know, you no. tell me. Why not? No. Across, across, next to. Across or next to? So what are we going to use then? <laughs> next to, next to. The coffee next shop to. is on Main Street. Where is the coffee shop? It's right here, right? Ah, uh, it's a coffee shop. So is it next to, in front, across from the shoe store? This is the shoe store, look. Next so to. it's next, next to. to. That's okay. Next that is to. the correct answer. Está la par, no hay otra forma de decirlo. Next to, oops, I'm sorry. Next to, number two, the movie theater is? Is on, on, on the corner. corner. On the corner, are you sure? On the corner. Across from. Across from, are you sure? Across from. It's across from. Okay, across look at this. No, está hablando de park and turf. Entonces exactly. sería on. on the corner. Look at this expression. Park and third. Those are the names of the street and the avenue. Avenue. So lo que no están diciendo street and avenue, but remember, these are the names of this street and the avenue. So, what are we going to use? Les acabo de decir, cuando tenemos el nombre de una calle o de una avenida, utilizamos. On. on. Muy bien, on. también. On. So, the movie theater is on. Park and third is, continue please. It's a cross from the it's park. From ah, the now park. we can say it's a cross from. The park. The park. On and across from. Excellent. Number three. Who can help me with number three? Uh, the gas station is across from the parking lot. Okay. The gas station is? Across, across from, 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 from the parking The parking lot is? Across from the parking the park lot. It's? It's on. on. It's on. Second, oh, second and market. Why? Because it's these on. are the Fierce names. Avenue. 
these are the names of the street and the avenue. So we are going avenue. to use on. Very good job. Number four, the post office. The post office, office. Uh, is on the main and second. Very good, because this is the name of the street and the avenue, main and second. It's it's next to next the to hospital. The hospital. Great. It's, it's across from. It's across. It's across, it's across from, from next, next to, to next to next to next to next to next to across from next to. <laughs> next to a cross from next to a cross from next to next to next to next to next to across teacher no come on next to or across okay number five next the two. bank is between the restaurant and the department store between okay and it's on 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 third avenue on third avenue very good job so don't forget this one when we have the name of the street or the avenue we are going to use on and then <laughs> we are just going to compare if it is across from next to or between very good job class how you andaba tan that? perdida, teacher. No, you're not, you see. No, yo creo que estos son temas que ya los hemos visto. Y si no, no son tan difíciles. ¿Qué es esta que... pero, pero le confesaré que eh, cuando estaba resolviendo el, el, okay. lo de la plataforma, este es un tema que sí me costó. Así que ve, okay. estuve viendo hasta 10 veces el video hasta que lo entendí. Prepositions. So, is it difficult for you, prepositions? Yes. Sí, eso de las you know, direcciones. Exactly. Why? Because most of the time uh, when we learn about prepositions of place, we learn them, you know, with a lot of vocabulary. Lo hacemos con demasiado vocabulario y eso no se nos queda. Si se fijan y les pregunta ahorita, ¿ha quedado claro cómo utilizamos on? Yes. 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 Por ejemplo, yes. claros y concisos. Next. Fue más sencilla su explicación que la del video. Yes, right. So, exactly. When we sum it up, cuando lo eh, hacemos más pequeñita la práctica, it's easier. So, um, for sure. La diferencia. Yes, tell me. Yes. Don't worry, tell me. Eh, la, difer la diferencia que yo veo entre verlo en el video y, y aquí con usted es que usted lo dijo en español, ¿verdad? Un poco más claro para uno que okay. no habla nada inglés. <laughs> Oh, come on, of course you speak English. A estas alturas, usted debería de saber mucho vocabulario, Josué. Yeah, we speak English. Soy principiante, soy tercer módulo principiante. I know, but you know, don't be afraid, you know. Sometimes I try not to use Spanish, but sometimes it is necessary. It is necessary, but in a percentage, uh, in a minimum percentage, no? Minimum, yes. Yes, I need to use English, but sometimes I can use Spanish, but you know, just in a 1%, 1%, right? Because it's necessary, I get it. This is a new language. So we need sometimes to give some examples in Spanish, but not all the time, okay? So you can practice your English. So you were asking me, this is just extra vocabulary. Teacher, how do you say redondel in English? You can go and look for all of these expressions, you know, like this one. Wait, let me make it smaller. No se ve muy bien, hago más pequeña, don't worry. Places around the town. Okay, here we go. Mm. No, no, se ve cortada la imagen. Se la voy a compartir en WhatsApp, ¿ok? So you can practice a lot of vocabulary because this is a lot of vocabulary that we can practice. But for today, we will going to practice just preposition of places. Class, let's go to the platform. Now that we have done this exercise and that you can express about places in town, let me see. What if I ask you, what if I ask you about the 
place where you work. Where do you work? Uh, can you describe using the preposition of places? Where do you work? What is in front of the place uh, in which you work? Or if you want to tell me about the place where you live, are you able to tell me the place where you live using prepositions? Serían capaces de decirme a donde viven usando prepositions. I live next to a bank or I live across from the supermarket. Do you have the idea how to express this in English? Yes or no? Oh, yes. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Do you want to try? Yes. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, please. Try. Try to say that in English. Where do you live or where do you work using prepositions? Okay, I just need one volunteer so I can listen to you. Where do you live or where do you work? Go, please. Who wants to where, okay. where do you live? Um, a first Avenue. Um, of First Street and uh, First Street on oh, on oh, First Street, mm -hmm. um, the school. Okay, excellent, excellent. Any other who wants to participate? Mm -hmm. uh, I live on Principal Street. Okay, next to. Next to a school, La Pedrera. Okay, great. Any mm. other? Very good job. On, very good. Any other who wants to participate? Or at least tell me the name of the street or the avenue where you live. Go, Elvis, please. Uh, I work at the First Avenue East uh, and across from El Paraiso Restaurant. Excellent. City. Excellent, Chalatenango. Wow, great. Excellent. Josué, go ahead, please. Uh, I live in I live on a principal street Excellent. to Santa Elena. Uh, mm -hmm. the next to the next to Iglesia. Church. Church. The next to church. Next to a church. I live here. Yes. Very good job, so Try to practice using the vocabulary. So if you see, after the video and after this very short practice, you are going to have a very similar exercise, but in this case, it is a listening exercise. What are you going to listen or you hear? You are going to hear some people talking about places they are going, okay? so. Play the audio and try to identify the places they are going, okay? This is an exercise. Let's try to do the first one. Tratemos de hacer la primera so you can then complete the rest of the exercises. Here we go. Let me see. Teacher. Tell me. ¿Lo puedo decir otra forma? Can I say the other form? Yeah, yeah, please go. Uh, I live in uh, the the literal street, uh -huh. literal street, mm -hmm. uh, the main the main street uh, to main street to Santa Elena. Está bien así, pero si quiero decir este main street okay. en, la, en la carretera litoral, esa es la principal. Yes, that is the Sería main literal street. Yes, literal, literal main street, street to... main street. Remember, main main street. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, Main Street. Yes. Okay. So, bueno, excellent. solamente ahí porque no es mucho, no es mucho donde tengo. <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't worry. So, let's sure. listen to the first one. So, then you can complete the other exercises. Here we go. Let's listen. Remember, you can play the audio as many times as you wish. But the idea is try to get the answers the first or the second time. Here we go. Page 89, exercise six. Okay. Listening. 
Where is it? Look at the map in exercise 5. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? 1. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Okay, let me Look go at back. the map in exercise five. Let's listen again. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Oh, is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Okay. On Main Street, between the restaurant and the Luff's department store. What place are they talking about? It is on Main Street, between Loft department store and Main's restaurant. They are the talking City about Bank. the bank. They City are bank. talking about the bank. So do we have the bank among the options? Está entre nuestras opciones. Yes, right? We have Loft department store, the bank, and Maria's. Oh, it's Maria's restaurant. So this is how you're going to identify the rest of the conversation. Okay? Traten de escucharlo una o dos veces e identificamos de qué están hablando. Is it clear? Está claro este ejercicio. Is it clear? Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. okay? Yes. yes. So now you can complete yes. this one. Look, we just have five minutes. So we are not going to continue with another exercise, but we are going to reinforce. Vamos a reforzar entonces lo que aprendimos ahora. ¿Qué aprendimos? Prepositions. Five different prepositions. Preposition. Mm -hmm. Prepositions of places, de lugar. Places. Because we have prepositions of time and many others. Tenemos muchas preposiciones, but these are prepositions of huh? Play. So here we go. Let's listen. Page 88. Exercise 5. Grammar focus. Prepositions of place. Mm -hmm. On. On. On the corner of. On the corner of. On the corner of. Right. Across from. Across, Across from, 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 from. Next to. Next to. Next, next to, to, to. Next to. Between. 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 The department store is on 3rd Avenue. Okay. The department store is on. Main Street. On 3rd Avenue. It's on the corner of 3rd and Market. It's on the corner of 3rd and Market. market. So, market. Yeah. Remember, if you want to express the name of the street or the name of an avenue in this way, it's a um. On. Look. Um. Podemos omitir el nombre street and avenue. Y solo decir cómo se llaman, third and market. Or you uh, can hey. also say third avenue in market street. Como ustedes quieran expresarlo, third and market or third avenue in market street. Okay? Teacher. Tell me. I want a question. I want, I want a question. Okay, go ahead. You have a question. Okay. Uh, the, we can say... We, uh, we can say uh, the first avenue, uh, mm -hmm. north, south, no. Yeah, you it's, very, it's very common to use those expressions very well. Yes. Que en inglés tienen, tienen, digamos, un ejemplo, primera avenida norte o primera avenida sur, tienen el norte y sur. Yes, the same. Yes, exactly. También okay. south, 
North, claro, se ocupan. So? Ok, sí. Yes, maybe because, tal vez en este caso porque son lugares bien cerquita, o los bloques están bien cerquita de lo que estamos hablando, no ocupamos al sur, uh -huh. al norte. But when we talk about places that are far from another place, yes, we can use those expressions, okay? Excellent. Let's finish with this one. It's across from the park. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. It's next to the bank. The bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. The bank is between the, bank, the department the store bank, and the department store and the restaurant. And, restaurant. and the restaurant. Very good. So what if I ask you where is the post office? Can you tell me what is the post office? The, next the post week. office is the second next week. Week. Nice. Okay. okay, empecemos con las avenidas y las calles. Where is the post office? Is on second and main. Very good. Second and main. Uh, and what else? Can you tell me about the post office? Is next to. It's next to doctors. Doctors hospital. And is across uh, from uh, the second. Avenue uh -huh. the Star. Very good job. Can you tell me where is Citibank? Citibank, Citibank uh, between oh, a Harrod Department Store and Manas Restaurant. Okay. How about it's the street or the avenue? Ah, very good. It's very good. a main street. It's, it's on a main street between. So what do you think? Is it on Main or Market Street? On Main Street. ¿Cuál será? Main no, on Main Market? Street. Está en la calle principal. Ajá. Main Street. Exactly. On Main Avenue. Mm -hmm. Or we can say on Main and Third. That's it. Very good job. How about class? I want to go to the supermarkets. Can you tell me where is the supermarket? P and J supermarket. Where is it? The supermarket is on Main no. and Main. No. The supermarket and on Third Avenue on Main, Main Street. Okay. Second Give me Avenue. more information, please. Across from it's across from shoes. Shoes. Across from the shoe yes. store, and is it next, next to, to Davis Drug Store? Or next Drug to Drug the Manas Restaurant. Oh, very good job. And you know, class, I want to go to the parking lot. Where is the parking lot? Parqueo, first, parking lot. On so Market Street. Parking lot is on Market and? Street. And across Marcus from Gus's station, okay. and across from Harold's department store, okay, and on Second Avenue. Great, great. But try to give avenues and streets at the same time. Okay, the name of the avenue and street at the same time. Very good. The parking lot is on Market and Second. Very good job. So class, ¿cómo sentimos esta práctica? Is it difficult? Easy. Easy, easy, easy lemon squeeze. Easy. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so don't worry. You know, eh, creo que oh, varios con, tuvieron cosa. problemas con su internet, ¿verdad? Conectarse sí. en las salas y todo eso. Yes. Sí. But don't worry. Eh, vamos a tratar de siempre mandar esa información a WhatsApp. La clase también pueden volver a verla. Mañana siempre antes de las 8 ya está. Incluso ahora, antes de las 11 ya está subida la clase. Así de rápido. Se sube a YouTube y luego se sube a aquí al, a la plataforma. Okay? So, questions. No hay preguntas. If not, no we are going to continue with this practice tomorrow. Okay? 
So I really hope to have a great night. See you tomorrow, class. Thank you so much for joining the class. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night, Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night everybody. Bless you. Bless you. Tell me. Yo quiero preguntar. Okay. Ahorita chequeamos eso. Sí. So wait. Is it Gladys, right? And Roxana. Okay. Ahorita chicas. Wait. Wait. 